It deserves to be condemned. Do not stay here. Don't let your wife book your stay here. Avoid like the plague. <laughs> channel and for today's video as you can see by the title down below long awaited but eventually we got here um today i will be talking about um the time that we stayed in a drunk hotel right so please ensure that you follow my socials it's brit on instagram and it's that chick brit on snapchat jelly coat nut on twitter all the links to those accounts are in the description box so click on them and follow your girl so after we left bush gardens we were supposed to actually go to our hotel room so right then and there we were in fall we're going closer to fall so the days would end like about six o'clock so it was about six o'clock when we left to find the place so earlier in the video i had said that my stepdad would like go to the hotel check in get our rooms get the keys and whatever right so he was staying at the room before we got there so he would have already know the place so after we um decided to leave the park we went to get some food at domino's Domino's wasn't my top choice because Domino's pizza isn't fire like Pizza Hut. Don't come for me. I don't care. Argue with your mama, not me. But Domino's don't nice. Period. So, after we reach Domino's and we order our food, we said, all right, we're going to try to find a hotel. Um, Went over to the hotel. We're in the parking lot. So, just as I was going up in the parking lot, I was like... This look like one look all brought down place and me not like oh it look because I don't know say girl like official nice clean hotel. As y'all can see, I'm gonna put the card up here when I stay at Rio Hotel in Jamaica. Yeah, girl like our nice clean hotel. Um. But anyways, <laughs> so after we pull up, I'm say me not like the place you now. And I'm gonna me I say it too, you know. I said, all right, probably on the outside it look run down, but inside it's okay. So we went inside. Well, I went inside because my room was still not open as yet. We didn't get to check into my room. They only checked into their room. That, that's my stepdad and my mom. I was supposed to check into my room because, of course, my room is under my name. So I would have to go there, show my ID, and then get checked in. First of all, the first red flag, when I went up to the counter, nobody was there. I stood there for like 15 minutes and that time my food, I get close to me, I get cross, you know. Um, nobody no, did it. So after me did it, no, I say no, people work here. Me say, okay, I'm going to go tell my stepfather because he was there before him. No, this person look, probably him have an idea of where she went. I went outside, I said, nobody is there and I can't get to go in my room. This no make no sense. So he was like, she was there when I had left. So I don't know where she went. Second of all, I went back to the counter. When I start really look at the place now, I say, the door kick out, which is the door at the front desk kick out. It have a hole in it and I have a doorknob. <laughs> The little lobby section, the furniture dirty and it look old. In there just have a creepy look. So after <laughs> me say me did it me wait and I said no, me can't wait no longer because my food I get cold. Me say, okay then let me go upstairs and look because probably she upstairs dealing with a customer or whatever. After me go upstairs, when I go in the, the elevator people the elevator was a nightmare like literally when me say rocky <laughs> the elevator was like oh my god how should i describe it <laughs> the elevator first of all when i touch the button first of all when i touch the button to go up it jerk a little bit like it's sagged up itself, it's say, all right, I'm going to lift up them people here. 
when you reach up there it's shake and then it's like in there one let we out we like stand up in there say no so what if this is sitting there go really let we out though but anyways we go outside we go we go upstairs and we came out of the elevator and we look we go and we call nobody answered of course she wasn't there i went back downstairs went into the car everybody was upset because at the end of the day we just came from um bush gardens everybody's tired because we did a lot of walking even though i didn't get to capture everything in the video we did do a lot of walking and the roller coaster them really ugly your body so yeah we did really go through a lot plus panta but that we're hungry so everybody sat down in the, the car we started eating and then mommy and my stepdad said we're going into their room because of course their room was open so by the time would i go in there so probably the, the front desk person would have come back after me did i know mrs somebody come so my stepfather start get upset now because i him booked the room them and him did i get upset because we did their wait all long and he, want, he, he wanted us to get into the room so me the cuss, mommy a cuss, him a cuss, and Auntie Alice a cuss, everybody a cuss. So as I went up to the friend, I said, Miss, um, you're you're the front desk person. How is it that you're not at your station? So she started giving me an attitude like, um, I'm the only person here, and if you want to check out, you can check out now. So I was like, Okay, then. So she hurried up, gave me my key to my door she told me the, the the room number i was in and i went around there so as soon as me go around there disaster mark you know i went into my mom's room and it did okay let me say okay i mean the bed spread it look clean everything but you see when i go in my room people it start from the door the door couldn't open good the bed never spread there was a big sink in the bed like somebody was sitting there and most of all worst case scenario there was like here on the bed i think in my room had two two beds so here was on both beds so we really never in that me to get really pissed off you know why because he was just like so i don't know i don't know if it was the environment but i feel like it wasn't the place for us to be honest remember so we are jamaican you know jamaican we passion them something the worse only doing a video so no could i see yeah it never fit in for us so we did say all right me not like this me not like the bed them but we're gonna make it work because at the end of the day we had two day had two day pass to go to williamsburg we had two days as i stated in the, the first video the williamsburg video we had a two day pass so we said okay we're gonna make it work because we really want to go back the next day because we actually went on only like three rides and williamsburg bush gardens has a lot of rides on them in there so we say okay then we're gonna just ask for some sheets and we'll make it work when we went back to the front desk and we said um miss we don't like the room in there is not looking good however we would just like a sheet so it could spread up the bed and, you know we'd be good she said housekeeping is not there and they don't have any extra sheets so right then and there she started the attitude again so i was like okay then she really so like she know if it's there them no one with money so i was like okay so is there any way we could get some clean sheets even if you're not gonna make the bed she said no we can't do that so after we were there going back and forth with her going back and forth with her i got mad and i got i went back to the room and then my sister was like you know what you know what it's better for us to just like book another room somewhere else that never worked out nobody had any room for us to go so we basically had to go back home so that is what happened on the second half of the trip however it just goes to show that sometimes you know things don't go as you plan and if you're gonna book a room make sure it, it makes sense you just spend the money and book a nice room because 
people that wasn't eating. All right, so so to end the video, I'm basically gonna read you the reviews on Google. And so far, I'm seeing here that they are a 2.1 star hotel. <laughs> I don't know what we expected, but to be honest with you, I didn't know that we were staying at this hotel. I, start, I thought that we were staying at Holiday Inn. I don't know, so Holiday Inn is not top tier either. But anyways, it's a 2.1 star, and we're going to read some of the reviews. I'm going to try to find the funniest ones that I really laughed at to share with them. All right. Unsanitary. <laughs> Disney's a bug's life has nothing on this place. <laughs> on whatever date, we checked into this place and we were greeted by a parade of German roaches. We called Priceline to get our money back and checked out. We had room 125. Holes in walls and ceilings. Door didn't, sh what? didn't shut right on the room. The Wi Fi antennas were dangling from the ceiling by a wire. <laughs> Electrical outlets were broken. This place is disgusting. The Virginia Department of Health should have made aware of this location. The city of Williamsburg should also be made aware. You're sleeping with bed bugs and roaches, or you think this place might be for you? <laughs> Yo, me like the American. Yeah. Some of them is just so funny. Let me see what else. First, when we got there, the elevator felt like it was going to break down on us. <laughs> The room was very hot. It took several hours for it to cool down. When it finally cooled down, I realized the mattresses were way hard, were way too hard, and the pillow hurt my neck. Also, our darling couldn't stop running. <laughs> the place is under renovation, but doesn't seem to be improving much. The pool didn't work. There were no breakfast. Oh, the person just mentioned something that I had to share. You see the bed, them people. A piece of boat then put it in them <laughs> And you know how me make her wear that? Auntie Allison. She kicked the bed and she said, apply boat then put under the bed. Can you imagine? But anyways, I will read some more comments. Absolutely disgusting. Do not stay here. Our room was full of roaches that I left the first night after midnight without even worrying about where I would stay. Mr. Mr. Da -da -da was neither surprised nor concerned that I was complaining about roaches and leaving within hours of checking in. This place is nasty. Horrible. We'll never go there again. Upon arrival, I was informed that there is a speckle in my room because someone put holes in the wall. <laughs> I expect a small patch. I attempted to call the front desk and the phone in the room was broken. <laughs> I had to request towels, ironing, board, and iron. The front desk clerk brought me an iron an ironing board and a bed sheet in order to cover the ironing board because it was dirty. I forgot to mention. I also had to request a TV remote because it was missing too. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> The shower head was dripping and the ceiling in the bathroom was in need of repair. I had to spend the night there because I couldn't find any available rooms nearby. I guess you get what you pay for. Even for the price, it shouldn't have been this bad. Stay away unless you have no other choice. <laughs> oh, is this somebody else? This, one? <laughs> this, is, this was my favorite comment. Listen to this one. My heart began to race as we stepped foot on the elevator and it fell a few inches and creaked extremely loud. <laughs> the third floor approaching slowly. I already regret booking this room. As we step foot out of the elevator, an immediate hot musty raunchy smell smacked us in the face. <laughs> the plywood patch ceiling holes and the uneven floor gave immediate, gave immediate horror movie vibes as such as movie the movie no vacancy i originally booked for two nights but barely could sleep the first night and just re relocated myself to a better cleaner hotel didn't even request a refund but you truly get what you pay for either a place to catch a quick nap or to catch a cookie <laughs> but we'll never ever return well believe me check it out for yourself <laughs> Yeah, we can't do them people, yeah. 
all right this is my next one also unacceptable for so many reasons and in so many ways the two receptionists at the front desk on the other hand were very very outgoing and well spirited and attempted to make her stay comfortable as possible the business itself fails terribly from the bed into the pillows and the towels in the room terrible just terrible my family and i stepped in the car for fear of what was going on in the room <laughs> all right we broke down dingy no pool or breakfast but does not state on website mm. dirty mold growing everywhere rusty shower visibly stained sheets and towels oh oh and dear god the, the mini fridge open it for less than five seconds and the room reeked of, of rotten fish i took a shower with my shoes on and left immediately afterward deserves to be condemned do not stay here don't let your wife book your stay here avoid like the plague <laughs> i can honestly say this ruined my vacation <laughs> it was an amazing stay with amazing employees definitely recommend your job for you <laughs> He's a dirty drunk girl. <laughs> well, anyways, people, that's the end of it. Please ensure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.